as a young person or as a in my childhood I was an introverted person I did have friends but not much even in class I didn't have that much friends to talk with there were some days during the recess I would go to a place like alone I have building that was half constructed I would have my lunch there alone like and every bite that I took I remember crying and like tears falling from my eyes that's how uh, I should say that my I, I started developing my depression it so happened that during those days I happened to fall in love with a girl sadly I was turned down repeatedly and maybe like from that moment on all of the rejections and failures that I faced in my life that came to me all at once I think that was my lowest point I felt so lost and disconnected from my thoughts and I was unable to think rationally in those desperate times I didn't have anyone to share those feelings or what I was going through with and that was the most uh, devastating moment <laughs> in my life. I decided to be my own captain and started working on anything that would distract me from keeping my thoughts from overthinking and anxiety and depressive moments. All these things helped me divert my mind to some extent, but it never really made my heart whole. And I think that's the, that was the moment I, uh, very moment I realized that I need God. There was this urge in me to kneel down and pray. I, I started telling God, God, if you are real, if you are here, harden my heart from all the heaviness that's trying to weigh, bring me down, all the overthinking that's making me sweat and weak. Suddenly, uh, that very moment, my heart was just, it stopped, that heavy heart, it just stopped. It, I felt my heart being armored. And, and s suddenly, like, my, my, I started br breathing okay. And that's when I realized uh, God, God is, is really real. I realized that Jesus was the only close friend. And my father, my brother it was my everything even though I even in those moments when I didn't didn't know that uh, he was there ever since that night my relationship with God with Jesus became closer and closer just like the song what a friend we have in Jesus where it talks about our burdens our heaviness taking taking it to the Lord in prayer Today, even when I go through all those troubles or sickness or any kind of problems that comes in my way that disturbs my mind or thought, I, I simply take it to the Lord in prayer because I know that when there is God in my life, when there is the presence of the Lord in my life, I am free. Even though I may still have less friends, my heart is at peace. This heart will not be shaken anymore because I know that God will never leave me. He will always be on my side, will always be my best friend.